We have more on our top story now. Funeral services are being held for the three youngest victims of the Christmas Day tragedy in Stanford. News H. Jim and Miro standing by live this midday near St. Thomas Episcopal Church in New York City. Jamie. Keith, such an emotional day here in New York City, and actually it seems that services are just ramping up. You can see on the steps here at St. Thomas Episcopal Church, those are Stanford firefighters. We're told about 40 firefighters showed up here coming down from Connecticut, or I should say uh, coming down from Connecticut to be here. Uh, obviously, uh, we heard a lot of tears, a lot of wailing today as the three small coffins were brought into uh, the church. You're going to get a look at one of the, uh, the, the three girls that's being... Uh, uh, this leaving the church right now. Uh, my apologies. I'm trying to find the words for this. This is truly just uh, an emotional experience even to cover this uh, as a member of the press for what we've had to witness today. But Donna Badger did get up and speak before the congregation talking about the memories of her girls. Uh, her oldest girl, Lily, who loved to dance, her actually her father uh, saying that a day with Lily was like a day uh, of a beautiful song, spending a day with a beautiful song. That is the second casket now that is being taken out of uh, St. Thomas Episcopal Church. Um, uh, Ms. Badger also talking about her two twins, Sarah Hudson Badger, Grace McCarthy Badger, uh, saying Sarah was uh, full of life, had a unique sense of humor, while Grace was kind of the adventuresome one, uh, liked to play with bugs and kind of uh, liked to show her mom kind of icky things, I think was the word used. There's a third coffin now that is being left here. Uh, the next stop on this tour, there's Miss Badger now that is behind um, the coffin. She has shown amazing strength during all this when she stood up to speak before the congregation i think a lot of people were were shocked that she was able to do that but she said that she wanted to do that because she wanted to tell the congregation about her girls we're going to spin around here quickly and just to give you uh, a sense again of the emotional scene that's playing out here in new york city and anyone that's been in new york city knows this is a loud place but right now you could hear a pin drop as these coffins are placed into the hearses. Uh, there's now going to be a private cemetery or a private uh, memorial service at a cemetery not far from the church. Um, but again, it's just been an extraordinarily emotional day, as you might expect. People uh, lining up, stopping uh, to take a moment to pay their respects. Um, there were uh, Thanksgiving for the firefighters. Uh, the pastor saying that uh, they did as much as they could. They tried as hard as they could to save the lives of the three young girls as well as the girls' grandparents. Um, but again, uh, it, it's just been a day of, of reflection. But most poignant again was Miss Badger getting up and being able to speak before these people about her girls and able to talk. She talked for about 10 to 15 minutes uh, about her children. Uh, we're going to have much more for you coming up tonight at uh, 5 and 6 o'clock. For now, though, we are live in New York City. I'm Jamie Muro, News 8.